when we combine an acid and a base, we have to think about what is the acid bringing that we care about and what is the base bringing that we care about. Um, so if you think back to acid plus acid and base plus base problems, in the acid problems we always knew there was H plus. That's what the acid is bringing. Um, I say like bringing to the table, that's what it's contributing that we care about. Base, what it's going to be contributing that we care about is OH minus. Now, we can have two different things happen based on how much H plus and OH are brought from this acid and from this base. Um, you know that if I have um, one H plus ion and one OH minus ion, that they can bond together, create water, that would be neutral, um, we wouldn't really end up with an acid or a base. But that's if we have equal parts H and OH, that for every H there is, there's an OH to bond with it, neutralize it, and leave us not with an acidic solution. So two things that can happen. One is that we have equal amounts or equal parts H and OH, in which case what happens is they neutralize each other. Um, that's a specific type of problem called a titration. Um, I'm going to do a video about that as well, um, but I think that hopefully makes sense that equal parts H and OH, there's nothing making it acidic, there's nothing making it basic. Now, if we don't have equal parts H or OH, um, either we have more H or we have more OH. And I like to categorize this super informally as saying that somebody wins. So let's say we have extra H plus, meaning there's some H plus left over. Some of the H and the OH bonded together and neutralized and made water. H and OH bonded, neutralized, made water. But then there's some H, no more OH. Well, we have extra H plus. That's going to make us have an acidic solution. Or maybe it's H and OH bond and neutralize, H and OH bond and neutralize. I don't have any H left, but I do have some OH. If we have extra or left or leftover OH minus, we know we're going to end up with a basic solution. Um, so two different types of problems that it could be if we have an acid plus a base in the question. Um, for when they're neutralizing, it will either say the word neutralize or it will say the word titrate or titration somewhere in the question. Um, so you'll know for a fact if it's this type of problem or that type of problem based on the keywords. Um, what I want to look at first are the somebody wins problems when we have some extra H or OH. Those will feel the most familiar to you. Okay. So in this problem, it looks just like the acid plus acid and base plus base problems at first glance, but we can see here that one of the things we have is an acid. I have its molarity and its volume. I'm going to color code for you. Um, and one of the things is a base. I have its molarity and its volume. So that's how I know this is an acid plus base problem. It's not a neutralization or a titration, which you don't know how to do yet, but will later today. It's not one of those because the word neutralize or titrate isn't in the problem. So we're going to start very similarly the how we would do an acid plus acid or a base plus base problem, um, which is finding moles. It's just step one is we want to find the moles of H plus for the acid. Again, for acids, we care about H plus. And we want to find the moles of OH minus for the base. Um, with acids, it's always going to be that one to one ratio, so it should be pretty straightforward. With bases, sometimes it's a two to one ratio that you have to take into account. Um, so you'll want to keep that in mind. Let's see, for the acid, I have molarity, I have volume, so I can use molarity equals moles over liters using the molarity of my acid and the liters, meaning I have to convert. When I multiply 1.2 times 0.04, what I found the moles of, what I found the moles of is whatever I had the molarity of, which is the HCl. 
But again, because of a one-to-one -one ratio, this is also my moles of H+. Plus. For the base, same idea, molarity equals moles over liters. When I multiply 1.1 times 0.05, I get my moles of the base to be 0.055. NaOH, there's no subscript of 2, so I don't have to worry about a 2 to 1 ratio. This must be a 1 to 1 ratio, so this is also my moles of OH minus. So, first step, finding the moles of H, finding the moles of OH. Then I get to decide, I know this is a situation where somebody wins because it's not a titration or a neutralization. So my second step, the second thing I decide is find out who wins, meaning which one I have extra of, which one I'm going to have left over after the parts that are equal have neutralized. We're going to find out who wins H or OH and by how much. So looking at our H and our OH, well, OH is a bigger number. We have more OH. So in this case, if we have extra or leftover OH. How much? Well, 0 0.055 minus the 0 0.048, right? Because for all of this H+, plus, it's going to bond with OH as much as it can and neutralize. Um, so finding the difference between the two, we get 0 0.007. And since it was OH that we had extra of, this is 0 0.007 moles of OH left. That means I know my answer by the time I'm done, by the time I have pH, it should be above 7. Um, so this is my moles of OH. I then can find molarity. using total volume, just like I did in acid plus acid and base plus base problems. These two solutions have been combined together, so they have a total volume now. Find molarity using the leftover moles and total volume. So, in this case, the molarity that I'm finding is going to be of OH since the moles that I had left over were of OH. Molarity, total, or sorry, moles of OH left over, over my total volume, 40 plus 50 is 90 milliliters, or 0 0.09 liters. So I get 0 0.078. That's my OH molarity. Um, my last step, Step four would be to find the answer. Generally, that means finding pH. I can't just negative log this, because if I negative log my OH minus, that gets me my pOH. So that's how I'm going to choose to start. My pOH is going to be negative log of 0 0.078. Which is 1.11. Again, that answer shouldn't make sense. We know that what we had left over was OH, so this should be a basic solution. 14 minus my pOH will get me my pH, which is 12.89. Um, if you were doing this problem and you had more H plus than OH minus, what you'd have extra would be the H plus. So your molarity would already be the H plus, and when you negative log it, that would already be pH, and you'd be done.